I'm not sure why that keeps popping up. Um, so on this page, it's just uh, coloring pages, for desks, okay, or desk doodles paper is the next one that comes up. Okay, so what I have here is just a bank of websites to get coloring pages from. So I quite like this artist, Holly Pichette. Um, she's from Canada, I believe, and um, you can download them for free, right? She has really excellent um, northern indigenous art. So she lives in the Arctic and has really high quality work. Uh, if you follow her on Instagram, she also has color versions and you can sell them or you could buy them if you like. Okay, she has her own website as well. Uh, I guess sales pitch for her. <laughs> Not sure if that's allowed. Um, I saved these ones specifically on a Word document so I could print them easily. I wanted some about dinosaurs to follow with our geology unit, and I purposely put in some words to go with it so that they were forced to learn a little bit along the way. So we have space theme, minerals, parts of a flower, right? And as you know, by physically forcing yourself to color something, you're more likely to learn it. Okay, and so there you go, get some art there. And this is really nice for those of us like myself who maybe don't feel as confident with our drawing skills. And um, some people consider it therapeutic, right? They have adult coloring pages to help themselves relax. Okay, you can go with some science theme ones, whichever you like. Uh, this one is coloring home. Okay, you could click the image to link to site for more pages. This one has to do with fancy animal ones. Uh, I quite like this one I found on the photocopier <laughs> that someone else had is uh, where you put the little brass fasteners and make a little skeleton puppet. Yeah, got a puppet. Uh, another technique that I got the idea from the Science Center was for just putting paper on a desk. And um, especially that cheap paper that's really easily available, usually in the art room. And you just tape it onto the desk with a little bit of masking tape. And it doesn't last forever. I mean, it gets torn and um, damaged. But uh, especially before COVID, I don't I haven't done it since COVID, but before that, um, it was really neat to have on the desks, and sometimes kids would write little messages to each other, and uh, I took some pictures of the ones that I liked the best because they did a really nice job of their doodles. And um, <laughs> this one had the solution for Rubik's Cubes, right? Like left up, down two, left two. Okay, and uh, it's quite fun. They'd autograph their hands, trace their own hands. Right? So it's just a nice opportunity to be creative because there's a lot of downtime in a class where the teacher might be explaining what we're doing and you can often listen just fine um, and be able to draw. Like look at that one, that's quite a masterpiece. Okay? And, uh, you know, it's a way to make their mark.